picket fences. The young family lives in a small apartment adjacent to Wendy's practice downtown. Although the 100-mile commute back and forth to base in Abilene is hard on Mike, the airman is determined to make it work. And as the couple begins building their life together, they seem poised for success. Mike and Wendy were the American dream. They had their whole future ahead. With the marriage, a new baby, and business, 2004 has been a whirlwind year for the newlyweds. So at Christmas, Mike puts in for leave. So what's Maine like? Well, it's a lot colder than it is here, that's for sure. But, uh... And the family plans a vacation to Maine in mid-January to see Mike's folks and introduce them to their new grandson. Gonna see snow for the first time? Mike and Wendy had bought airplane tickets and the trip was set. Wendy had never been out of the state of Texas. They were really pumped up about going. No, you guys are gonna love it. Mike was very excited to show them where he grew up. My family had set up a, a little wedding reception for him. We wanted to welcome Wendy into our family. But in the early hours of Sunday, January 16th, the day that Mike and Wendy are supposed to fly to Maine, something goes horribly wrong. Hello. I can't find Mike anywhere. Wendy had called, said they weren't gonna make the flight. I have no idea where he would have gone that Mike was missing. I thought maybe he would be with you guys in Maine. Mike's family is confused by the early morning phone call. Okay, you just need to calm down, Wendy. When's the last time you saw him? Wendy walks through the last 36 hours, claiming that on Friday night, she and Mike had gone out. We had a date night and then... She said that they went out to the bar across the street, had a few drinks and danced a little bit and had a good time. 